In one year, I plan on buying many high-end young guns. For only $25. Let me show you how. What's going on YouTube? Flipping out SC coming at you with my very first video. And what better way to start this channel than with a flipping challenge? That's right. Today, we're starting a, a Kong C flip, flip challenge. challenge. So what are the rules of the flip challenge? Well, first off, I'm only going to be buying and selling cards that are already on Com C. I won't be sending any cards in, and I won't be sending any cards from EPAC. The second rule is we're sticking to purely hockey cards. No basketball, no football, and definitely no baseball. We all know that there's not enough YouTube content in the hockey card space, so we're looking to help fill that void a little bit and talk hockey, hockey, and more hockey. And the final rule, we're only starting with $25. We're going to try to work our way up as if we were trading penny stocks and see if we can buy one of those $100 or $200 young guns at the end. We know that getting every young gun in that picture is pretty much out of the question, but if we can buy one or two and add them to the collection, I'll count that as a win. Now that we have the rules out of the way, what are we buying? Well, obviously we're looking for any deals we can find, but more specifically, we're going to be targeting speckled rainbow foils, rainbow color wheels, and other EPAC exclusives that I know move really well on ComC. These type of cards have sold well for me in the past, and I'm sure they'll move well for me in the future too. In fact, we started this challenge about a week and a half ago, and we've already bought some cards, so let's take a quick look at what we picked up. We started out by picking up a bunch of OPG Platinum rainbow color wheels, followed by a couple French, some speckleds, and another set that I find moves pretty well for me, the Tim Hortons Red Die Cut. When the new year came around, I picked up a ton of speckled foils. I found one account having a big sale, and they were all underpriced, so I grabbed as many as I could. And now for the big question, how have sales been? I've so far sold 19 cards for a total of $22.27. On that $22.27, I've made a profit of $10.33. Not too bad for only starting out with 25 bucks. But for now, that's all I've got. I hope to update this challenge monthly, so be sure to hit the subscribe and bell notifications to not miss out on episode 2. Until then, we'll catch you on the flip side.